All right, my latest tool is the Energy Conservatories DG8 Single Port Precision Manometer. Uh, this is a really cool, great bang for the buck precision manometer. Um, and it's used for a lot of different diagnostic procedures, especially when it comes to home performance, because it can accurately read really low pressures. Uh, for example, in building performance, we typically are dealing with pascals instead of like PSI or inches in water column, which is what HVAC techs normally are used to. A pascal is a lot smaller of a unit of measurement, and so it's really important to have an instrument that can accurately read it. Just because your $100 manometer that you got from the supply house says it reads pascals doesn't mean it does so accurately. You really need a sensor like the one that's here in the DG8. So let me show you what I'm doing here. This is my house. I've I've got a tube stuck out the door and I am reading my building pressure. As you can see, I'm right at zero pascals. Now my air handler is running. It reads the same with it off, but I just wanted to make sure that I was reading a neutral pressure in my house when my air handler is running. And don't get fooled by that negative 0 0.1, 0 0.2. That's what we call a frog fart. Um, if we change the unit of measurement over to inches of water column, I mean, it's not even a big enough uh, negative pressure to even register in inches of water column. So again, Pascal's is just better for doing that kind of diagnostics. We don't really get worried about something until we get over three Pascal's. But let's see what happens when we now introduce outside air into my house. And let's see whether my house pressurizes or not. The app that goes to my smart relay, I use it to override things that other smart devices are, are controlling just because I want to be able to turn them on and off at a push button for my videos and different diagnostics and things that I do. So I said all that to say this, when I hit this channel four button on, this is going to override my Haven and this is going to turn on my fresh air damper. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on right now. And then we're going to see what my fresh air damper effect has on my house. All right, so fresh air damper is opening. It always opens slow and closes fast, but as you can see, it is definitely opening. This DG8 manometer is so sensitive, it can read the slight little pressure change that my outside air damper has on my house. Now, bear in mind, my HVAC is running. My dehumidifier fan is also running. So both of those are pulling on my outside air damper. Now that it's opened, we're reading a positive two Pascal. So it's a very slight positive, but that is enough of a positive to push the moisture and the pollutants out of my house. Now you may say, well, aren't you bringing in moisture and pollutants into your house through your fresh air damper? Not really. Even though, yes, we are pulling air from the outside, we're controlling how much air we pull in, we're pulling it through a MERV 13 filter, and we're dehumidifying it, which is a lot better than just pulling it in through infiltration in the house. But I want to showcase this. I'm going to be producing a lot of content with not only the DG8, but the true flow grid and showing how that is the most accurate way to measure total airflow. Be on the lookout for that. But until then, thanks for watching and always work safe.